Let's now head to Kenya where a community project based in the western part of the country is helping to spur the growth of the agriculture sector. The initiative prepares compost manure from organic waste collected from a local town. Here is Beryl Ororo with that story. On a typical day, this organic waste from Kitale Town in Kenya's Rift Valley region would be transported to a local refuse center where it would be burned or just left to rot away. However, it is now being delivered here for much better use, that is, production of manure. David Ngige started Dajopen, a local community project which has been pushing local farmers to use organic manure. Once delivered, the waste is sorted and later dumped into a pit where enzymes are added. It is a meticulous process. After the composting for four to, four, four to six weeks, the compost, size, the, 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 the compost is ready. And then we remove it. And then we add, so we, we add some calcium from eggshells, from crushed eggshells. Egg and then from there, we sieve it. And after sieving it, we, put, we, we package it in, uh, in bags ready for sale. Kitale is an agricultural town with maize being its main produce. However, farmers have been experiencing low yields due to erratic rains and the use of synthetic fertilizers. Experts say these artificial manure have degraded soil fertility, leading to low harvests. That is what Dajopen is seeking to reverse. Organic farming will really solve a lot of problems concerning organic carbon because organic material is the source of all the nutrients and it is also able to regulate the soil pH. Once we have our organic carbon right, organic matter right in our farms, we will not be able, we will not uh, worry so much about soil acidity. David started this organization in 2009. The project currently has 34 members. Although sales were low initially, community awareness and sensitization has seen sales increase marginally. The fertilizer is affordable because it costs half the price of synthetic fertilizer, so it's very pocket-friendly for farmers. On top of that, the yield we get from maize has improved. We used to get five bags with synthetic fertilizer, but this one gives us more than nine bags of maize. So it has improved things. Each bag costs slightly above $12, which is almost half the price of synthetic fertilizers. In the last uh, planting season, we were able to make 2,560 bags of this organic fertilizer, each weighing 50 kilograms. At each, at each bag, we sell to 1,000. Uh, 200, uh, 250. Local farmers in Kitale and proponents of the Dajopen initiative are hoping that the organic way of farming will lead to mm -hmm. healthier produce and a more sustainable mode of agriculture. Beryl Oro, CGTN.